Hi guys, Melissa here, and today I want to talk to you about what we do every single day, and that's grooming. And grooming is a service-based business, and it's a little bit different than if you were able to, you know, pick up a widget a gidget and test it and look at it and try it out, um, you know, and then make the decision whether you're going to buy it or not. When we are grooming dogs, we're selling a service, and a client isn't going to know whether they like that service or not, most of the time until after you have finished. And so, you know, people that are calling us as a professional pet groomer, they are assuming that we're talented, that we're skilled, that we're trained. Um, you know, it's the same thing like if you need to hire an attorney, unless you have a great referral, you don't know whether you're hiring the best attorney for your particular situation. You know, you don't know when you go to the doctor whether you truly have the best doctor for the situation, whether you're getting the correct diagnosis for what you're, what is ailing you. Um, you know, taxes, shoot, how do you pick somebody to do your taxes and if you have a complicated return how do you know whether somebody is really doing a good job for you you know you don't you don't know it until after the fact and that's the same thing with dog grooming our customers don't know whether they're going to get an excellent grooming um, or they're not until after it is done. But you know, the one thing that customers can really tell, and you, you, you know, think about the services that you go to, they can tell whether they feel valued, whether it, they feel like it's a good relationship. You know, you just get that gut feeling that you like that person. And you know, clients can tell when phone calls are returned, when they're treated politely, when their pets are being treated with compassion, they can tell that. And so bottom line, when you're selling services, you're basically dealing with a popularity competition. And the, and the winners of that competition are the ones that make those customers feel valued. That is absolutely key with what you're dealing with. So, you know, just remember when, when clients and prospective clients call to see what you offer, they are going to assume that you know what you're doing, that they, that you know how to trim their dog the way that they think it should be trimmed. And so it's really important that you get at least to that first base and you're being able to communicate with that customer and make them feel amazing. And you know, through years and years of experience, I have found the stylists that have full books sometimes aren't the most talented stylist but they are the groomers and the stylists that make that customer feel important. They are the ones that, that make up with that dog and that client feels comfortable leaving their beloved little Fluffy with you for the day. And so that's really, really critical is make that customer feel valued, feel important, and build that trust so that that customer keeps coming back to you over and over again.